Hello, beautiful. Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to share with you how to model aluminum panel or cladding facade with section detail in Revis. Back to my previous tutorial about facade design, I got a lot of requests from my viewers about aluminum panel. Plus, most of students they are missing some detail and struggling how to model it properly. Okay, so today I thought it would be interesting if I can help them out. Today we will walk through together for those aluminum panel with structure. Let's jump into our project together. We will model it, make it RSRP. Okay, so let's model together. Okay, so here we are in Revis architecture template. And as you can see on my screen here is my previous model for section detail for our aluminum panel. And now we will click overview together. We got our aluminum panel here and we got our C channel structure. And of course we got our brick wall for backing as well. We got some ceiling here is a 60 cm by 60 cm means 600 millimeter by 600 millimeter for our ceiling here. Now it's time to model that. I'm going to click overview, overview like this. Then control and on my keyboard for shortcut key. I want to create a new architecture template. It's okay. Once I done that, the width will be transformed me to another page. And first thing, when I read to my architecture template, I'm going to our file over there. I want to create some C channel structure first. I prefer using for curtain panel mullion. The reason for that because curtain panel mullion is a parametric easier to adjustment when we using our curtain panel. Finding for profile mullion here, metric metric profile mullion is open. Once I done that, it will be transformed to another page again. Then it's time to create our mullion here. RP on my keyboard for shortcut key. Then go to pick here. Just offset for vertical for fifty by fifty. So for this one, I don't want to make it a parametric. I will just make it a simple profile. Just a manually draw. Hit escape a couple of times. Then I can go to our work react tab. Go to line. Straight away draw line from top here to bottom. Make it to C step. Sorry. Make it to C step. Like this. Hit escape. Offset it. I will offset it for 20 millimeter. Just offset 20. Okay, hit escape, TR for trim and extend. Then I'm going to connect all of them together. Just connect here, two, hit escape, one and two. Of course, I will filler as well. Make it more nicely. Just filler it to 200 millimeter. Sorry, it's two millimeter radian it. Like this. I think we will write them here as well. Hit escape a couple of times. Then we can load into our project. I will load it to project 5. It's my here. It's our project here. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to our architecture tab. We need to create our floor first. First thing, create our floor. Then we create our wall there over there. Then after that, only we create our structure here and our aluminum panel. Go back to my level 1, go to architecture tab, floor, rectangle, just drag away, draw it like this, hit escape, then I'm going to edit type, edit, I need to assign a new material as well, assign a new material, let me find first, concrete, then I think I will finding from here, let's go down, I like this one concrete cast in place. Then again, it's okay. Apply, then it's okay. Go to our uh, just save finish first. Then go to our copy to clip board, align to the lower, like to level two. It's okay. Hit us get a couple of time. I'm going to open my 3D here. Let's open our 3D here. Then I'm going to hide our elevation first. VG for shortcut key. Annotation, character L, start for level here, apply, then it's okay. Then I'm going to our level 1 again, 
wa for shortcut key in the type duplicate is make it for bricks with gym sum like this okay go to our edit type first thing we are work through on our wall setting we need to create a shoe layer first i'm going to insert more then i'm going to make it down make it down or um, make another two up okay sorry we left our center here for our brick wall then i'm going to change it to finish one i think let's change it to our substrate and change it to finish one i think we change it to this one like this and make it to finish two and make this guy over there for structure i will make it for 180 and make our thermal and air laser just make it to five millimeter make it to five and make our gym sum wall to 10 millimeter make our finishing tool is some kind of smart press here make it for five or so okay then i will change it just go to material here make for black color here and i'm going to make it to let's search for this material is it got inside our worry with model here okay didn't help so i'm going to using for wood for cover that okay source wood here then i need to copy that select here Control a for select all Control c for copy then i will press here sorry okay then here for the top finish one i will make it for gym sum gy like this and for brick wall here i prefer to create a new material for brick wall because i want to log into our apparent library make it for bricks apparent library main in here then just drop down finding for let me see first okay let me see which one we should choose for our teacher are we using this one okay hit apply let's see our review here okay it's quite okay it's okay it's okay again it's okay again then we can start draw it i will change it to level 2 then minus for top offset 450 the reason for that because our wall is sorry our slab is 150 thickness then i'm going to draw it down just we'll start from cause interior like this okay hit a sketch go to our 3d here as you can see here so what i'm going to do next i'm going to open up for realistic then i'm going to switch here first because i want our our gym sum wall into into inside our interior go to our level one select here rotate here go to 3d okay perfectly then i can go back to my level one here wa for shortcut key again it's time to create our structure just go to our storefront edit type then i will duplicate it make it for acm structure like this it's okay curtain panel here i want to make it to empty glass because we want our structure only and here i'm going to make our vertical grid and horizontal grid just make it for 500 by 500 for our aluminium structure here side and for vertical molin here just change it to let me see first okay it's okay first then i can start draw here come on hit a sketch go to my 3d here as you can see here so what i'm going to do next i'm going to select here like this then go to ss like all i will unpick here finding for our smolian i couldn't see that so how to saw that let me load in again i think go to my reference here let's load in again
go to my 3d here like here again finding our new channel in the type then i'm going to duplicate here make it for c channel c channel structure just make it for three channel then we will change our profile here change it to family file here then for material we keep reminding for aluminium it's okay okay sorry because we change one only like here again sa for select all in the type change our to family file apply then it's okay As you can see here now we got our three channel structure so what i'm going to do next i'm going to create our aluminum panel just a quick one go back to my level one here then here we need to move all of them first and we for move i'm going to move it just move it until here like this then wa for shortcut key again we will using for storefront again and edit type duplicate it make it for acm it's okay then change our curtain panel make our mullion is make it for 30 millimeter square control a control v control a control v control a for select all okay the last one here okay all right we need to adjustment our vertical also 500 by 500 it's okay then i can start draw like this hit s get a couple time go to my 3d here as you can see here then I can select one of my mullion here, SA for select all. Then I'm going to unpick here, go to edit type, and make it for one for thickness, make it for one, one or so. It's apply. Then it's okay. Then I'm going to right click on my closer, high in view, high in element. Then select my panel here, select all my panel here like this, go to edit type. And we take a look on our curtain panel again. Just finding for solid here is apply. Then it's okay. I'm going to select one of them like this. It's a type key. Go to edit type. We want to change color, change material here. I like this one. Concrete cast in flesh or material. Apply. Then it's okay. As you can see here, go back to my level one. Then I can align it just like all of them. System MV for move. Then I will move it until here. Come on. Hit escape. Go to my 3D here. As you can see here. Then I can go to our section bar. Just make it smaller. Okay, before I select my certain bulb, I need to go to my level one first because I want to create some ceiling plan first. Architecture tab, ceiling, sketch ceiling, change it to 600 by 700 grill. Like this, hit escape. Then I can just hit finish. Hit escape, go to my 3D here. As you can see here, then I can adjustment here in order to make section start from front view. Just move it like this, like this. Okay, let's see. Move it until here. Okay, then I can hide this one. We have for high our element. Then what I'm going to do next in order to make our section like this if you watch my previous tutorial you know how to do that 
but if you are first time to watch this tutorial make sure check back my previous tutorial about facade section design also it's quite uh, smoothly and quite interesting for this project and you will learn something new about that also go back to my 3d here i can start from front here like this then of course i will select one by one hit a tab key just make it like this Hold control key for multiple selection. Come on. Okay, then right click on my closer. Find element, as you can see here. And the top one I want to hide also, basically. Okay, as you can see here. And here I can divide sub element like this. Okay, as you can see here. It's quite nice and quite interesting. And of course, you can revive it also. You can revive for my tree here as well. Then I'm going to our river hiding here. Make it like this. Close bed, as you can see here. That's how you can create your alloy panel with structure in Revit. Okay, guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial. Thank you guys for joining me from start to finish. If you are first time reaching out here, make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on notification. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice weekend. Thank you.